You came in at the exact moment I found that on iFunny. No, I. What? Do you not know iFunny? She's a thought. No, I know what it is. Okay. I was confused because I came in and I just heard that women are a problem, and I was like, yeah, they are. <laughs> well, I expose okay, as long as you're cool back. with it. Yeah, man. That was Kate. She's the thought. Can she still hear me? Um, I can tell her what you're saying. What's up? Uh, uh, tell her the exact opposite of, uh, what I say. Fuck okay, you, Kate. On. I hate you. Um, <laughs> I am going to be absent towards you, Kate. I love you. <laughs> Hi, Tyler! <laughs> <laughs> you have no context! Do you want to tell her- tell her the context, because that was weird. <laughs> no, someone who has no context just walked through the door. He just walked away! <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm done with this bullshit! <laughs> Alright. Ow. Coughing sucks. Yes. Hello, and welcome back to Hyperspeed, the show where I try to speed for rage games while drinking energy drinks. Today, I am going to head out, uh, out of this, uh, out of this terrible, ugly place that I've been in for a while. Nathan, are you actually drunk? Yeah, well, tipsy. Okay, you're tipsy. So I've headed out of this ugly place, and look, oh my god, it's the most beautiful place in the whole fucking game. It's awesome. This is one of my favorite moments. This is one of my favorite moments in the whole game. I really like your film. Yeah. I mean, some of the enemies here I really seriously hate. But it's just so beautiful, I can't be mad at it. <laughs> yeah, no, Irithyll... Irithyll is stunning. And I just w I just wish that... Hang on a second. Alright, so, uh... I just wish I that they did the Dark Rune Blades a little bit better. Yeah, I mean, they're all right. Yeah, they're not the best though. Like they they're might, just okay. Maybe sort of. Cause like ninety-five percent of the time I get summoned, I, it's like a fucking gank, you know? Yeah. And the host isn't doing shit. And he's like, "Oh hey, a dark moon blade. I summoned you so that you can die." Right. And it's a real pain in the ass because I'm here to do my goddamn job, and holy shit, my AR is almost six hundred. Oh. Wow. Hey, so, um... Yeah. Let me, uh, let me get some quiet for a minute, because we're about to meet one of my favorite creatures in this game. <laughs> Silence for the Tooth Doggo. Uh, so, it may seem like I'm just walking innocently across this bridge, when in actuality, there appears to be something behind me. This is what I like to call Tooth Doggo. Ow, motherfucker. Tooth Doggo, you play too rough. <laughs> that wasn't funny. Tooth Doggo! Come give me a hug. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like it went well for you. Tooth Doggo. Sit, boy. Ow! God damn it! <laughs> okay, I should not be wasting my one chance with an ember. <laughs> Blake, stop playing with the dog. Sorry. I just like him so much. He's just such a friendly tooth doggo. Technically, he's a crocodile wolf. He's a tooth doggo. You can't tell me otherwise. To afford a woman, you need time and money. Therefore, woman equals time times money. Time is money, so time equals money. Therefore, woman equals money squared. Money is the root of all problems. Mon money equals the square root of problems. So... Oh. Oh. Tooth Doggo! Uh, Come here, I want to pet you with my gigantic Blake. Blake. 
Your math is indomitable. Tooth You're Doggo. right when it comes to math. Tooth Doggo, I just want to pet you with my gigantic sword. Why you gotta be so hostile? Yeah. Dog. Wait, I can't be invaded! Oh, yes. this makes Nathan happy. Oh. Let's go. Lax in Orlando. I can't be invaded. Everyone else can suck my dick. Welcome to Tooth Doggo No Hit Run. Oh, never mind. Of course, just because I said that. <laughs> Suck it. Tooth Doggo, do you like my pets? Do you like my sword pets? See? He rolled over onto his back. See, he rolled over onto his back and showed his stomach to me because we're friends now. Me and Tooth Doggo. We're the bestest of friends. And you can't tell me like otherwise. My eye hurts. Why does it hurt? Um, Why does my eye hurt? Is it because I just obtained the Pontiff's left eye? Did I just take your eye? Are you Pontiff? Do I have to kill you now? No, it's my right eye, so I think I'm safe, right? Oh, no, actually, I was wrong. I obtained Pontiff's right eye. Shit! I took your eye. You're Pontiff. The logic is infallible. You have to be Pontiff. But I don't want to imprison Yorshka. I love her. Nope. You're Pontiff now. I love her so much. I don't know who Yorshka is, but you're Pontiff and I have to kill you. She's the captain of the Dark Moon Blades. Oh. She's no, she's like, cool. She kind of looks. She kind of looks a little bulimic, but that's because she's dragon spawn. And so, like, because of that, um... Isn't she, like, really big for some reason? She's Amazonianly tall, but not Amazonianly muscular. Ah, I see. So, like, yeah, yeah. So, um... The thing about that is pro she's one of Gwyn's daughters, I think. Yeah, no, she's one of Gwyn's daughters because she's the sister to Gwendolyn. And Gwendolyn is definitely yeah. one of her daughters. Uh, Gwendolyn is actually a boy. Oh. He was born under the sigil of the moon, which is why. Are you sure about Gwendolyn. that? Yes, actually, because the lore behind it is. Are you um, sure about that? Born under... Yes, because he was born under the sigil of the moon, so his dad was like, "Well, that's feminine, so you're a girl now," and. The Are you sure about that? that? Yes, and the protege that Gwyn had born under the sigil of the sun was a woman. And the reason why she couldn't be raised as a man was because her tits were too big. Good job. Like, if you look up a, a picture of uh, Guinevere, she's got like... Gwyneth she's Paltrow? Godly, she's godly. No. Can we get Gwyneth a picture of Gwyneth Paltrow on screen? Thanks. Can we get a picture of Guinevere on screen? No. Thanks. Oh, I hate you. Let's get a picture of Guinevere, but uh, Photoshop Gwyneth Paltrow's face on her. No, Guinevere's too pretty. <laughs> All right, fine. Then Photoshop Guinevere's face onto Gwyneth Paltrow. I don't have crystal weapon. This is all my spells! Um... So... If I didn't what? kill the dude who gave me the cracked eye orbs, will he- uh, do I ever yeah, see him yeah. again? He has a quest line. His quest line is very specific. I just want to kill him. <laughs> you do eventually get to kill him, and you get his shit, and his shit is awesome. Yeah, but I don't want to do his quest line. <laughs> All right, then you can kill him, but you won't get his good shit. You won't get Where his weapon, he? and his weapon is sick. Um, you should be up by Lorien and Lothrix. Oh, he's still there? Sure. He should still yeah. be up there? Well, if you haven't killed him yet, then yes. I talked to him, but I didn't kill him. You see, that's where you went wrong. You can't do it now, can you? No, you can. You can still kill him. I don't see Don't. him, though. Then you have to get to a certain point in the game. Oh. He shows up after you kill a specific boss. 
Alright, AR is 598. Now. Let's get right into the news. Right into the fucking star. 695. Oh. Tonight. <laughs> you, you yeah, you literally actually can't. I mean, I know I can't, but like, in this current state of achieving insight, I would not be able to fight invaders. But the question remains, can I fight Tooth Doggos? Hang on a sec, we'll be right back. You can definitely fight Tooth Doggos. If you haven't killed them already. Alright, so Nathan's gone now. Time to, uh, time to do some things. We're gonna, um, we're gonna kill that guy, and also that guy, and also that guy. Oh, god damn it! really? This is, this is how we're gonna do this, huh? Yeah, good job, dumbass. Okay, I deserve that one. I honestly hate these things. Motherfucker, are you gonna do that every time? Okay, this is fine. This is acceptable. No, I guess I gotta take a drink, don't I? See, now I'm forgetting I have to take a drink because I have I die so infrequently. What the hell am I hearing in the background? <laughs> This is fine. Hello! It's me, Mario! Let's go! Let's Man, go. I wish you could help Kill me. This is the worst part of the game. Go. That's not true, actually. It's it's one of the hardest, though. I would, and I would do it dressed like this. Mm. Oh, that's bad. I died. <laughs> Three seconds in. Oh my god, I don't- I'm not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> Why am I laughing? I this. What did you die three seconds in of doing? Fighting Tooth Doggo. Oh, one of why? Three. Why are we fighting Tooth Doggo? So that I can get that bonfire. And the ring of favor. Oh. Funny thing about the ring of favor? In the original Dark Souls game that it was in, if you took it off, it broke. Really? Yeah, because it represented some goddess. Whatever. Right. Something like that, I don't know. By the way, Drunk Souls is the best soul. You're 21, right? Yeah. So when I turn 21, we should do Drunk Souls. Uh, I don't know about that. Why? I don't know. I don't, I don't really plan on drinking, so... Really? Yeah. What's your... Whoa. For their size, those fat fucking, um... Aldrich guys can jump a really far distance. Yes. And they are very annoying. And I hate them very much. Yes, they are. They're the only ones that can use force. I noticed. Which is interesting. Is that true? I actually yeah. didn't notice that. Yeah. You never see any- okay, there are three different kinds of Aldrich followers. There's the short yeah. ones, the tall ones... Okay, short skinny, tall skinny, and fat ass. And yep. like... The fat ass guys are fucking ridiculous. It's like, not only do they take more hits... They dish out, too. They dish out. It's like, yep. they have poise even when jumping. Yep. Okay, I got you that time, bitch. Yes, I dislike those guys. Nice try, cocksucker. That dog. 
Probably shouldn't have aggroed this guy. Whoa, I whoa. missed? Pop, 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 pop. Almost one shotted me, but he didn't. Die, you faggot. Hello. Right, one down, one to go. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. Oh, fuck. Whoop, okay, that was dumb. I admit it. Fuck you. <sighs> Alright, one down, one to go. Did it the sheer amount of Estes flasks. So what swore you off of alcohol? What? What made you not want to drink alcohol? Uh, it inhibits your ability to think, primarily. It's not something I'm really a fan of. That and is true, and, like, I get that. I it's also addictive, it. so. That my is also family, true. My family has a history of uh, being addiction addicts. <laughs> If you can get addicted like, to it, really? someone in my family has probably gotten addicted to it in the past. Wow, I didn't know that. I haven't been like that, but also I'm kind of trying to, I'm kind of like this out of spite. Like a really stupid fucking spite. Yeah? Yeah. In what so, way? Okay, what I'm gonna say, I don't know if you want to keep in recording, but my, uh, my uncle, um, he drinks a lot of alcohol. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna go into the series specifics, but like, eh. I mean, do you want it's... me to cut that out? Cause like, I will, but. Um. I don't personally care, but like, it seems like a personal thing for you, so. Maybe bring it up to me when I'm not like this, but. Regardless... Oh yeah, you are inebriated, are you not? Yes, I am. So now would probably not be the best judgment for me to, you know, like go over what I am and am not going to want to be recorded. <laughs> right. But the All simple right. fact of the matter is you guys drink alcohol. And with it, along with many other things about alcohol, is um, certain parts of your subconscious come out because it dampens your, um, what's the word? Um... Inhibitions, that's it. It dampens yes. your inhibitions. Are you using that fucking wolf sword? No. Ah. How exactly do you suppose I got that already, Nathan? I can't talk. There are wolf crocodiles in my face. Fuck. <laughs> welcome, to welcome to Drunk Souls. Ah, damn it, he got me. Again? Weapon's too fucking heavy and it takes too much fucking stamina. He's like, in certain areas. Like, he... There are things that he's better at than I am. For instance, one of those things is math. Like, I fucking suck when it comes to math. I can do basic math and like, you know, whatever. Right. But like, when it comes to the when it comes to the advanced shit, I have no fucking clue. But, like, the fact that it took him this long to pick a college kind of scares me. Well, There's, you know, he could have just been thinking me. about it. Yeah. Like, a lot. But I feel like he's... I feel like he was a little bit lazy about his decision. Little. I mean, that's what happened to me. Like... Really? Well, yeah. Well, you know what happened? Um, except, except it fucked me over way more than it fucked Justin over, let me tell you. Because, really? yeah, well, because you know what it was is when I applied to college, you know how they say, like, what are you, what are you supposed to apply to, like, seven colleges or five or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Some bullshit number. Yeah, well, I literally only applied to No, yeah, the first place I applied to. I, I literally only applied to 
when I didn't get in, I got put on a wait list, I kind of got fucked. And so, that, well, that's why I ended up so long. What the shit? Oh, this guy is hello. Like boss level hard when you're inebriated. What's boss level hard? The fucking tooth doggo. <laughs> he was boss level hard for me the first time too, and I wasn't inebriated. I'm just an idiot. I'm just thoroughly terrible at this game. That's all. Yo, we can play. We can play drunk souls. Um. And you be drunk, and I'll just be the the idiot I always you'll am. You'll be the soul. I'll be the drunk. You'll be the soul. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yep. I'll provide the soul. I'll uh. I'll. Sp you can be drunk, and the entire time I'll be singing soul music. Soul and eating soul food. What's soul food exactly? Uh, some kind of steak, I think. Some kind of steak, you think? Yeah, it's something like chicken fried steak with like a glaze on it. I didn't know soul food was a specific thing. I just thought soul food was like oh, hey. a type of thing. Here, here is my pork core. What did you get me some soda? Oh, I should probably down some of this, shouldn't I? Oh! Repost! 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 <laughs> dead. Dude, why are you ripping hosts? What the hell is your problem? Posted. Uh, I'm reposted in the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> <I will. laughs> Dude, you are out of your mind when you're drunk. I kind of like yes, it. Yes, I am. I mean, like more than you usually are. Because... I can your Nathan levels are rising, Nathan. I, can't, I don't want to drink this if it's just seltzer water. Take it away. I'm sorry, but like, get... Thank you! There is lettuce and tomato and cheese on this, and the cheese is going to end up getting me killed. Why Can is you cheese bring gonna kill here? you? Because it's boring. Oh. We're here, here. Jasmine! Jasmine! The cheese is gonna end up getting me killed, sweetheart. If it's cheese on it. We are both respectively playing our own drinking games. I'm gonna get me killed, bitch. Motherfucker. Get off my ass. Is there a ketchup? It better be ketchup. I mean, you can't have anything without ketchup. Okay, you guys can fuck off. Remember Justin gave me ketchup before I left for college? I don't, actually. When did that happen? Justin gave me... Justin gave me these two tiny-ass vials of ketchup. And like... Like as a gift? Yeah, as a gift. Okay, you can go fuck yourself. Again, ask me when I'm sober. Yeah, exactly. Because then I'm going to have a little bit better judgment. Yeah, um, by the time I finish this I game... By the time I finish this game, you're likely to be home. More than likely. Um, because this is a difficult game. So, when yes. that inevitably does happen, although I'm kind of speed running it right now, like, I'm a decent way into it. Yeah, and with my help, you'll be done before you know it. I know, I'm almost at Pontiff. Ah. Um, but, yeah, when you get home, we'll just have to, when I edit this shit, we'll just have to kind of, like, sit down together on this one. Oh. Yeah. Fucking Silver Knights, dude, I hate these assholes. Nope, yeah, nope, right. nope. He almost did that lightning blade thing to me. Okay, so like... The did he just got too much poise? Sword, the 
the Silver Knight Straight Sword was in other games, but it's not in this one because fuck you. Because that, then the game would actually be playable, right? Well, I mean, if you could get the Silver Knight Straight Sword and the Silver Knight Spear, though it, that would be some of the awesomest shit. Because you wouldn't have to waste an attunement slot on a lightning buff spell. Because right. its weapon art would put a weapon buff, a uh, lightning buff on it. Right. Same thing for the spear. So they're like, ah, oh, we can't do that. But let's put all the Black Knight shit in there. Fuck everybody. <laughs> so what's your issue with the Black Knight shit? I have no issue with the Black Knight set. I fucking love it. Shit. You're just salty the Silver Knight isn't in there. I'm a little salty about that because when I was doing the character on this, um... On this save file... Yeah. He was very the Silver Knight. The Knight of Astora, the Silver Knight. You were supposed to be a Silver Knight, and you can't be. Well, I couldn't have the lightning, so I literally had to take the Astora Straight Sword and put a lightning buff on it. That was fine. No, it, was, it introduced me to lightning magic. And shit. Yep. Oh, there's a third one here. But it would have been nice to have some other lightning stuff. Yeah. Like other spells and shit. Yep. Is there a way to imbue... Like, I, I know this is a terrible idea, as you've told me many times. But is there a way to imbue a sword with lightning the same way you do with fire? Yes, it's called lightning gem. There is a lightning gem? I haven't seen one, so I yeah. don't know. And actually, the Drake Blood Great Sword. This is a great sword with a pretty good move set. Yeah. Um... It does a lot of damage if you do Lightning Blade on it, because it already deal comes with dealing both Lightning Damage and Magic. Right. So it already takes care of Magic and Lightning for you. So that's cool. The thing about that is that um, not everything is weak to Lightning and or Magic. So right. you gotta be careful. And you can't undo that. You, you have to use that. Yeah. So the only thing you really can do is put either a lightning gem on it and ramp up that magic damage to hell, or use a lightning blade on it. Yep. That's an option too. So when I was going to put a gem on my Drake Blood Great Sword, what I found was that because of my stats and because of my current equipment, I could deal more damage with a lightning gem on the Drake Blood Great Sword than I could with a heavy gem, which I was normally going to do because I was a strength guy. And I was like, hey, maybe I could do this, but then I realized that um, I wouldn't be doing as much damage to an opponent who's strong against lightning. What does the heavy gem do exactly? Heavy gem makes it scale more with strength. Okay. Can you... Um take a weapon that is by default imbued with some ability and use a shriving stone to get rid of it? I don't know. I've never tried. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's a good idea. I mean, well, anything's possible. But I feel like the shriving stone only works with a weapon that has that particular buff in the name. For instance, if you put a heavy gem on an item, it becomes, like, for instance, if I'm buffing a Astorus Trade Sword with a simple gem, it becomes a simple Astorus Trade Sword. Whereas if I put a heavy gem on it, it becomes a heavy Astorus Trade Sword. So I feel like a Shriving Gem or a Shriving Stone would only work with that specific kind of um, weapon. A simple weapon, a heavy weapon, a home weapon, a sharp weapon, etc. Yes. So the name of the weapon will let you know. So probably not then. Probably not. What the fuck? What was that screech? Damn it, Tyler. 
Where's Cave? Damn it. At least put a little mayonnaise on it. Nope, 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 nope. Do you know if the cheese has died? Are you sure? No. God damn it. Stupid dogs. Damn it, I picked a little bit off. See? Because it was melted. Can you look it up? You can get somebody sober to look it up. <laughs> I know because I'm not capable of doing it. The only thing I can do is roll and press R1. I mean, that's all you have to do. This article, there's a 99% chance that we will get a confirmation Can somebody sober check to make sure that the Wendy's yellow cheese doesn't have diamonds? The only guys that can use is A, Anito, or B, um, something that starts with C. A, something, or B, C. We went to Wendy's. They asked us what the name for my order was. I said that. Okay? We go to, they come with all night. What's the name for the order? Is it Carthus Food Die, Nathan? <laughs> Somebody placed in a a, uh, a a name at Wendy's, and the name was Two Abortions. Good job. People in my suite are fucked up. This four for four comes with a lot of shit, and I love it. Hang on a sec, I gotta go pee. I'll be back. Alright, bitches, let's go. Nathan, no, come back. Now I actually have to talk. Now I can't rely on your drunk ass to give me comedy. Comedy freaking gold. Nope, nope, nope. I would appreciate a little bit of time between enemies to freaking heal. I've been bitten by Frost. Apparently that dog's name is Frost. Nope, 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 nope. Motherfucker. You know, these goddamn dogs, I really hate them. I really freaking hate them. Down another can of freaking Bing. Here we go. Uh, excuse me. Wolnir's crown, crown of Wolnir, the Carthus Emperor. Great. It's getting a bit repetitive. I'm back, please don't die. I'm not dead. Okay, good. I died many times while you were gone. Oh. And by many, I mean two. 
Yeah, two is a lot in this game. Two is a big number in Dark Souls. Especially yeah, honestly, when you're talking it is. about the number of Dark Souls games. Yes. Two is more like than half three. of them. Because two is, in fact, the majority of them. True. I Give me my soul back, bitch. Bitch. Literal bitch. Female dog. Actually, I don't know if you're bitch. female or not. I didn't exactly check. I mean, I didn't see a dick. So, no dick. You can just assume, female. right? But wait, we don't know what it identifies as yet. Oh wait! Before giving our children a name, we must dis we must give them gender gender neutral names because we don't want to assume their child's preferred gender. Because let why don't, every liberal ever. Why don't we just declare all names gender neutral? Like, why don't we say like, oh, Olivia is a gender neutral name now. Carl is a gender I'm neutral name now. Olivia. Yeah, then you can name I'm your kid Johnson. whatever you want. Mick has a dick, and I'm a girl. Johnson <laughs> McHazadick. McHazadick. And I'm a girl. Yeah. But that's your last name. You can't change that. You would, that would be your name even if you were a girl. I changed my last name legally, and I'm a <laughs> female. Everyone in the McHazadick line is female. Great. Including the guys. Including the guys, yeah. Yes. Because... Well, I mean, I guess if you changed your name to McHazadick, then you're the only person in the family line who has a dick, who is McHazadick. Therefore, you are the family line. That's true. So technically, you're right. Also, but let's say, for instance, that your name actually was, your birth name actually was McHazadick. Gender, it is physically gender impossible. Gender is a social construct. Gender is a social construct. Gender is a biology. So, no, it's not, and I'm a bio major. Gender isn't a biology. <laughs> gender is a no, biology. If you're a, if you have a dick, that doesn't mean that you're a guy. That means you can be whatever you want. If you have a vagina, that means you can be whatever you want. What if you That's have neither? That's not true. If you have a dick, you're a boy. If you have a vagina, you're a girl. What if you have neither? Are you allowed to not be anything? If you have neither, then you should probably get that checked out, because whatever you had probably got ripped out of your body and grafted over with skin. Ew. Yeah. That is a gross thought, my friend. I know some pretty friend. nasty Russians. Russians are fucked up. I mean, I won't argue with you. I mean, they rigged our fucking election, so... <laughs> hey, what's up? Are you still and in the Persona? I love it. I love you, Kate! I wanna kiss your cheek, can I kiss it? Hey, you can fuck I off. I love you, Kate. Yes, you are. I got a bunch of hair in the kiss. Does that count? Ew. Can I try again without hair? Mm, I love you, Kate. Hey, everyone, Kate is cool. Thank you, Kate, I love you. So what, are you dating Hi. Kate now? Your name starts with a J, right? You're Jasmine. When you take so much Benadryl, you forget people's names. Hey, it's Jules! <laughs> okay. Rolling, 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 rolling. And keep rolling, 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 rolling. Does this count? Yeah, I mean, like, technically chokers are, like, really Hi. tight shit. Oh, you're not gonna try it again? Isn't it, like, tight? I'm gonna go back to playing time. Like, doesn't it tighten up here? Wait, you haven't you have fucker. pierced here? Oh wow, I didn't know that. Okay, I'm I'm going back. I can sleep sound because I know that I haven't ingested dye that will kill me. I'm gonna eat a fuck ton of fries and then drown it in not jizz. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> technically, whatever I drink that isn't jizz technically counts as not jizz. 
song. I mean, you're right. It's still weird, though. <laughs> I meant ketchup! See, I thought you were gonna say Rolling Rock for a second. What is Rolling Rock? It's a kind of alcohol. Wait, really? Yeah. It's a brand. You've never heard of Rolling Rock? <laughs> no. It's a pretty well-known like one. It's like rum, but like... The Russians have got to me and I'm currently being fucked by a Russian female bitch. I mean... Is she hot? <laughs> yeah, her name is Vodka. Oh, nice. Vodka can be quite a bitch. <laughs> yeah, and the thing is I've learned how to fuck her, but she like she likes it like that, that way. So like... The thing about her... What? <laughs> Bloodborne 2 is a 99% certain to be at E3. The next E3 is gonna be so fucking cool. Wait, can we go back to the part about you fucking the Russian bitch vodka? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so she's a concubine. Because <laughs> that's she's been one of the most interesting things vodka. I've heard all night. She's a concubine named Vodka. And she likes American penis. Are we talking like, um... Are we talking like the Japanese form of concubine? Yeah, is it the same... uh, wait, what? Is it the same way? What Does is it work that, the same? then? Um, I mean... So, the Japanese emperors had concubines. Um... Yeah. Who, yeah. I am not in that Japanese emperor. Are you sure? You look like, pretty Japanese you know to me. me? I mean, what, I always you assumed you were a Japanese emperor. Are you telling me you're not? I'm pretty sure I'm not. Like, <laughs> if I talk to my friends, they'll tell me that I'm not Japanese. The Japanese didn't have potatoes, and I'm eating fries currently. Fries are made out of potatoes, so I'm not Japanese. Hey, racist. That's not racist, that's true. Truth can't be racist. I didn't say you were, like, ancient Japanese. I'm pretty sure modern Japanese people have access to potatoes. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that's a little bit racist. <laughs> they live in Japan! They can't grow potatoes! <laughs> they can't grow potatoes! <laughs> There's this little thing called shipping, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you now. Isn't that when you have two characters and you like how they live together? <laughs> so you imagine them fucking? <laughs> that is shipping! No, I believe the term for that is fanfic. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna like, take this real quick. The Japanese can't grow potatoes, they're too busy growing rice. <laughs> right? Oh my god. <laughs> Are you going for the racism Japanese... world record, Nathan? <laughs> no, if I was going to break the racism world record, I would say the N-word with a hard R. <laughs> hard R N-word. <laughs> you mean like... You mean like... The N-word... You gotta put all the emphasis on that R there. You gotta roll your R's. I do not associate with. <laughs> what? You know the vine with like the uh, fucking Indian kid and he's no. like, I do not associate with. I don't know any of this you're actually... talking about. You've been on iFunny! I did? Yeah! You were you you have an iFunny account, so like you're on iFunny. <laughs> oh, I thought you said you put it on iFunny. I didn't put it on iFunny. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> How old is this meme? Uh I don't know. Okay. Just look up do not associate with but N-word, but without with like a hard R. I'm not gonna yeah. say it on stream because then you're gonna have to like censor it, and then it's gonna be. We all know what we're talking about. 
Do I actually have to say the word for you to understand what I mean? No. Okay, good. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't understand what you mean. Are you talking about, uh... Uh... Narnia? <laughs> <laughs> the derogatory term for a member of the black race. Technically, it's not a race, it's just a color. Oh, you mean NASCAR. Those are races. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me and my NASCAR friend. <laughs> no, sorry, NASCAR. All my, my, NASCAR's. my NASCAR's in the house. <laughs> Negro. <laughs> a black person. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> not a white person, but not a Latin American. Right. What about Asian? Shit, you forgot I them. Stood up from the, I, I shit, shit, I just stood up from the bonfire. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Everything still tends to despawn even when that happens. It's, had, it's happened to me before. Really? Yeah, everything like, respawns when... I've had it happen where I reach the bonfire right as someone is getting within the range that it shuts it off. And I sit down and yeah, then I immediately yeah. get back up. But the thing that was chasing me still respawns, so I'm safe. That's how it normally happens. That's what I've seen. Yeah. Is that not what happened now. to you? No, that's not the problem I'm having. The problem is I stood up. Oh, well, good job then. Well, the thing is, I'm not the real Slim Shady. So you couldn't so stand I, up. I should not have. I'm a disgrace to the actual Slim Shady. We're very sorry to you, Eminem, and to all of your uh, to all of your Narnias. <laughs> your Narnias. <laughs> yeah. Narnias gossiping like bitches on the radio and TV. See me. Bad Meets Evil was a good album. I mean, I won't argue with it you there. It was good because Eminem was there. <laughs> yes. Like, you could take a, a shitty situation and put Eminem in, and it would be better. Dude, I know. I fucking love that chocolate shit. Chocolate shit? That tastes... That probably tastes disgusting. Eminem. <laughs> okay, Eminem is different from chocolate shit. Like, chocolate shit comes from an anus. <laughs> the anus of somebody who has eaten chocolate. It's like, um... It's it's the little droppings of chocolate rabbits. Chocolate shits. Ugh. Gross. But Eminem is different because he came from a trailer park. And he's cool. He was a so what you're saying is he came from the anus of the, of the city. No! Like... He... I'm just trying to liken him to chocolate shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> no! He, do he was like, it became a major part... I realized it was a forced comparison. A black dominated society. Of rap and rap. <laughs> rap and rap. Soul. To the point where everyone was like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? Eminem isn't white, he's black. <laughs> that, became a, that became a meme. I mean, Eminem's the shit. I'm not gonna argue with you there. He is. I like him. People call me edgy for liking them, but fuck those people. How can you, how can you be edgy for liking Eminem? He's the shit. Yeah. He's a rapper who, write, who writes actually intelligent lyrics. And clever lyrics. And original lyrics. Which is a breath of fresh air in this time and age. I know. All rappers are just like... I got money and fuck the police because the there's a popular song that says that once, so now I have to say it. And like, I got bitches and I got blow. Yeah, that's blow literally every rage. rap song ever. And I mean, let's be honest, Eminem doesn't rap about entirely original ideas. He still does yeah, that yeah. too. That's true. But I mean, some but of like, his better stuff talks more about like, him and his experiences. Yes. And also, just in general, it's written better. Like, it, it's actually written like rhythm and poetry. Like, it's clever. 
Yep. All right, there, I really should end this episode because it's been going for way too long. <laughs> there is humor, and there is dissing people, and then there's clever wordplay. Right. And like, yeah. I think it was Rap God, where it was, uh, yeah, it was the song Rap God, where like he said something about um, the Kardashians. Kardashians. He, like dissed the card. Yeah. Cause like, there was this big. Um, Thing where this like basketball player got married got married into the Kardashian dynasty. And I say dynasty with air quotes because fuck the Kardashians. Yeah, honestly. And like, I don't remember there being a I lyric about up, that in Rap God, and okay, I actually read the lyrics to that. It was I woke up in a lim in a uh, limousine next to the ugly Kardashian and Lamar. Oh, sorry. Yo, we both set the bar low. Um, that I assure you that's not Rap God. Look it up. Cause I don't know what I, it is, I'm but it's not sure, Rap God. I'm pretty sure it was a diss at Kendrick Lamar, and he got, um, married to. I don't doubt it exists, I just assure you it's not from Rap God. Alright, give me a second to end this episode, and I'll tell you in the next episode what that came from. Please do. So, thanks for watching. I hope we didn't offend anyone. Uh, because... interesting, but not as interesting as me because I'm... Nathan's, Nathan's drunk as shit. You'll have to excuse him. <laughs> I'm not drunk as shit, because shit sucks. Yeah, he's drunk as shit. <laughs> Stay interesting. <laughs>